All right. What's good? It's your cello Dello fellow Dolo dude, dudes, Duke, man. Young Queasy in this bitch. What's good, you know, It's your boy, Young Queasy, aka Aegon Targaryen, aka Nigel Thornberry, aka the Devil's Therapist. You see the horns on his head? He <laughs> claw that mercy. Anyways, uh. I ain't never fell in battle. I get shit shaking like an infant shaking baby rattle. Shit, I'm the leader on this field, hurting all the cattle. The way you act is ugly. These niggas hating on me. They should just say they love me. Not empathetic and I'm not synthetic I'm not pathetic, try me, you'll regret it You did some foul shit, I forgive you, but I won't forget it See, I inspired niggas, they'll never give me credit So I'm so proud of that project Except for one part <laughs> It's one part of that shit That make me feel like, man, that's the lamest shit I ever did in my fucking life Y'all heard that bazooka that was dropped on the motherfucking game, right? So Come all of this time I'll be moving on my own accord for the first How many people think Kendrick Lamar is one of the greatest motherfuckers that ever touched a fucking microphone? Dreamville, y'all love Kendrick crazy. Lamar, correct? And if he did, my nigga, I got my chin out. Take your best shot, I'm gonna take that shit on the chin, boy. Do what you do. You know what I mean? Like, no daddy. all good. Like, it's, it's no love. Daddy. And I pray that, you know, I pray that y'all are like, I say, I'm gonna take it on the chin. For like the misstep, and, uh, and I can get back to my truth. Two days felt terrible. Like, it let me know how good I've been sleeping for the past 10 years. Okay. So, right off the rip, man, I wanna start with your reaction, man. What you think about what this nigga said? That nigga soft as hell, bro. It's like the most softest shit I ever heard, bro. Nigga, this is hip hop. I don't give a fuck. I thought you. What did he say? I saw you were conflicted. <laughs> <laughs> nigga quoted that nigga bar for bar. Damn. Misusing your influence. Nigga woke up. Ah! <laughs> ah! <laughs> oh shit. <laughs> the funniest shit in the world is that this nigga Kendrick literally got niggas losing sleep, bro. Like, I. The boogeyman. That shit is crazy. The boogeyman. And everybody taking him so literally like he's just like the, the devil or something. It's, just, it's the most interesting shit in the world. Anyways, bro, what you say about the people who say things like, yo, he's doing what's right for his mental health and, you know, yada, yada, yada. Like, he's a person first. He deserves happiness and, you know, to be at peace. He's what do you think about that? He's not a person first, first of all. This is hip hop. When you choose to be a rapper, you're not a person first. You're a rapper first. And at that point, when you're talking about the title, you want to be the best. You talk, he went on a tangent for the past 18 months talking about I am him, I am number one. Dare somebody test me and say otherwise, and I got something for you. <laughs> what he had for us was lackluster, and immediately after dropping it, instead of standing on 10 and figuring out what his next shot was going to be, he gracefully bowed out. So I'm gonna really try to play devil's advocate to him. But basically, that's they, so how I felt. So you know, shout out to the fact that he a person, shout out to his mental health, all of that stuff. But at the same time, he's an entertainer. And the last thing we want as consumers is for our entertainment to not be entertaining. You feel what I'm saying? It's like, we don't go to the movie and, and, and the, the plot of the movie has no conflict. You know what I'm saying? People don't go to the sports game and the team don't got an opposing team. Like, you are an entertainer and we are your consumers. And if you don't give us nothing to consume, but now, what do you say to the people who swear that we be uh, wanting to see blood or wanting to see violence and then uh, if you want to see these two go back and forth, that mean you need therapy or something like that. What do you think about that shit? So, uh, this is like when you get the two Naruto kids that try to fight. <laughs> Literally, though. <no. laughs> this is like one of the most non violent rap beefs, like the most softest rap beef you could ever be in. This is probably in history one of the rap beefs that could only stick to what you say about me. Because neither one of the two dudes got a, I'm going to pull up, shoot him up, bang, bang, or I'm going to punch you in the mouth when I see you because of what you said to me. Vibe, bro. So, cool. If we call, if we really go on the cape, 
for these dudes being mature, then we can expect them both to be mature enough to understand that, oh, it's just music, so we're going to keep it music. So regardless of keeping it music, that means no bars hold, especially when you got, you know what I'm saying, everybody involved. Who's involved, bro? You can't sit there and say, yeah, bro, I'm tough. I feel like you cool. You were the top three, you all right. But me, I'm number one. Nobody could beat me. And he goes, he didn't even hit him. He just tapped his shoulder and bro went home. He, he went to the principal, the principal office and said, I feel, I, I don't feel safe. He told me that after school, I'm gonna get it. I don't know what it is. But I don't want it. I don't want it. We won't be finding it out. <laughs> Call my mom. I, I need can't. to go. I ain't gonna lie. The first reaction to the video was just like, wow. Like the I whole time I was like, Nigga, what? literally. The crazy part was the night before, I was just randomly quoting Kendrick. I saw you were conflicted. <laughs> I saw you were conflicted. <laughs> Who knew the next day I'd wake up? Man. To see this man, J. Cole, going, man, last night I was conflicted. I'm telling you. <laughs> Kendrick really a prophet, but no, I was literally like, yo, like, this nigga is blowing it right now. Like, what are you doing right now? Like, and I don't, I don't be feeling that way about, like, people when they choices in rap for real. But, like, I was just like, damn, Cole, like, you might as well not have said anything. I think that would have been the best move. My main point has always been, think about it back when Lil Wade was here, right? You make it sound like he did, but yeah. I know what you mean. <laughs> when he was actively like dominating the charts, type shit. Mm -hmm. Nobody could stop him, right? When Lil Wayne was on his run that he was on, and he said out his mouth, "I am the best rapper alive." He stood on that shit. And everybody came out the woodworks to tell him, "No, you're not." Even his close friends. Came out and was like, nah, bro, you tripping. And dissed him on the track. And you know what he did? He's still friends with those dudes to this day. But he murdered every last person that kept. He just left a hallway full of bodies. Oh, oh bodies. Oh, bodies. Oh, bodies. Not to mention, he got more mixtapes than niggas got songs. He is like the Jeffrey Dahmer of rap. He eats rappers alive. Pause. No, well, uh, no Diddy, little goofy ass. You feel right. me? And then this is the part I can't stand about people. Everybody who knows these two know that these these two not finna kill each other. They not finna do nothing crazy. So they're like, oh man, the world want to see blood. Who want to see blood? Don't nobody want to see blood. Ain't none of us sick. Don't none of us need therapy for this reason. We just want to see a good rap battle. It's not like this is Dirk and Young Boy. We know that they got. Street That's problems. what I'm saying, like, bro. People are so fixated on thinking rap be just about killing people, bro. You don't got to go kill that person to beat somebody in a rap beef, bro. And this is what you got to be clear about. This is really between Kendrick and Drake, and not even they really want to kill each other. You hopped right into your sense of bag, bro. You jumped your goofy self right in front of that bullet and said, no way, Aubrey, it's me. He was having a bit too much fun. On that tour with Drake, he had a little bit too much of that, uh, I need that back swing. <laughs> he had Drake's favorite drink on the bus in that big ass glass. <laughs> Started feeling himself. What you think about this, Squid? I know, have you been keeping up with the... I've been listening to a few of these. I don't know. It's interesting because it reminds me of like, for instance, right? It's not like we want to see Malcolm X, Martin Luther King Jr., you know, like we want them to actually like say some shit and like, stick with it, you know. We're not talking about a violent war, we're talking about a non-violent war. And I think that's what people forget about it. But also, I think they also forget that like hip-hop is like a hypocrisy, you know, like they just fucking rapping. It doesn't mean like, oh... I don't want to kill this person or anything. We just want to fucking see a good fucking bar to bar type shit, you know, and not no pussy ass shit. Like I'm just keeping it real. That at the end of the day, it's not like, for instance, like when you have freestyle battles, right? Yeah, you're going against your opponent and stuff, but at the end of the whole contest, you guys shake hands and you guys part ways. That's they do that in every sport. Every fucking thing. It's respect, you know, like 
example like a boxing match, right? You fucking beat up your fucking opponent. But at the end of the match, right? Y'all hug it out or y'all dap it out. The referee makes y'all do it. But even before that, you know, people got respect for each other. People know the world that you get into. And that was the people's, that's the most misunderstood thing about Kendrick, especially when he dropped control. When he was like, you know, I got love for you all, but I'm trying to murder you niggas. Just make sure and these niggas heard a, a noun or a verb from you niggas. These niggas took it so to heart, bro. Like I, I can't believe people really took this so personally. It was like Nah, he needed to do exactly how everybody else reacted, bro. Right when he dropped control, everybody said, Yo, let me jump on the track and let you know why you wrong. Reply. <laughs> Tight. Reply, bro. It's how it's always been. It's the unwritten code of hip hop, bro. Most of these people are casuals. They only know BET and TRL yeah. and barely that. They know YouTube. They don't even remember that. Nah, these are the people who made it to where, uh, was it, Macklemore was able to win album of the year in 2015 and how Iggy Azalea was the rapper of the uh, year. And Everybody what? who's caping for him being apologizing and saying it's okay, it's maturity. All y'all grew up getting participation trophies your whole life. Call you can't mercy. tell me nothing different. I wouldn't say all of that. Nah, I wouldn't say all of that. <laughs> Everybody who thinks that's acceptable behavior from somebody who claims he's the GOAT in hip-hop and rap, one of the most competitive genres there is, there's no genre more competitive than rap. Name me another genre more competitive. No, maybe. There is none. Jazz, rock and roll. And, and this is this is the, the Squid Games. How, what's the number one rule of Squid Games? There can only be one winner, one defiant winner. Bro, you automatically eliminated yourself. Well, Claude have mercy. Like who you know hit somebody and they say, "I'm sorry." <laughs> I, I didn't even. I don't even know what came over me, bro. I, I'm, I'm not like. I promise you, I'm not like that. I, bro. Ch Hit me back if you want to. Yeah. I, 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 I know. I'm, I'm sorry, bro. Just hit me. Hit me, bro. Mm -mm. Damn. <laughs> the fuck kind of weird shit is that? That's weird. Nobody else find that weird. Especially in hip hop, bro. You just. I find it. like that. Like I find it unfortunate. Hey, man. People is primal at the end of the day. So, this boy Kendrick, man. What y'all think about that? Like, at this point, what this they say it's like Play. the fourth person that apologized to him or whatever. I think he might. I think he might win a Grammy for this and beat Drake for the best diss track to win a Grammy. Show me my opponent like the rectory. All about a bad like a treasury. treasury. Shit, I ain't never fell in battle. I get shit shaking like an infant shaking baby rattle.